and we've tried to create our own little world. A trip to the country can be as close as a stroll into Judy Strahan's backyard. On land owned by her family since 1916, Judy has created a town filled with things that we remember from our childhood, things that we remember we've tried to bring back, because those were happy times for us. This backyard is also a tribute to Judy's heritage. Craft Stable is named after Grandfather Craft, and then there's the barbershop over here, which was Mr. Hall, which is Grandfather, and then way on the other side is Strahan's Mercantile. In this town, you can find some National City nostalgia. When we were kids and we went to Sweetwater High School, across the street was Julie's Sweet Shop. Back when we were kids, there was a blacksmith shop here in National City, and it was Otto Stang's blacksmith shop. And this is what we've done to try to pay homage to him. He was a great man. There's also a town hall and a bank, but the centerpiece is Strahan's Mercantile. You this is a the store, you have stepped back 60, 70 years. Yeah, that's the feeling we want. And all the products are pretty much the name brands of the time. Right, huh? right. I've been looking for this bottle for over 12 years, and I just found it about two weeks ago. Cloyd's Dairy used to be down in the valley between National City and Chula Vista. You must just be in the middle of an antique store or just rummaging through something and just scream, yes! <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> look, 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 look. Come down here to National City and remember the good old days when gas was only 25 cents. Not a liter, a gallon. Some of the nostalgia in Judy Strahan's backyard is hands-on, or should I say, hold on. Judy and her family have built a monument to Americana and a tribute to six generations right in their own backyard. Larry Himmel, News 8, National City.